welcome to why you should not spend your money on gray zone warfare i'm lucky and this is talk gaming and let's get straight into it so they decided to release the game tomorrow way faster than we all expected on 30 april in early access i think they are trying to release the game super fast aka tomorrow because they are trying to capitalize on the tarkov drama if you don't know tarkov is in a shitstorm right now and these people are trying to get all those tarkov players to buy their game but you think tarkov is a money grab well <laughs> this is worse because Tarkov, you are able to play for a long time and still can enjoy it. This, I don't give it more than two weeks. Now let's talk about pricing and after I will explain why you should not spend your money on it. They have different editions, starting from standard to supported edition. From 35 euros to 99.99 aka 100 euros. And this is what you get with every edition. Bigger locker, aka stash, lockbox that's bigger, aka a secure container that's bigger and better equipment. So it's kind of pay to convenience, kind of pay to win, but uh, not really. Now reasons why I think this game is a waste of money and time for the gaming community. Yes, the game is a super realistic game, has great graphics and really good technology. But that's the only good thing I have to say about this game. Yes, it looks great. But it's a game. You know what a game means? You need to enjoy gaming. You need to enjoy the gameplay. And it lacks completely in gameplay. Everything I'm gonna say in the video is based on the showcase they had a few weeks ago. So I might be wrong here and there only if the showcase was with an older build. AK they showed us how the game looked one or two years ago. But if they do that, that's stupid. Why would you do a showcase and a test with an older build? Like what are you testing? And two, the core of why the game is bad, AK the gameplay still stands. Because at its core, the game is very flawed. When you start the game, you have to pick from three factions. And these three factions are kind of the base of the game. And this is where the faulty game design starts. If your friend picks a different faction, you cannot play with them. So better get a new friend, make new friends or buy a new account. The factions have no real perks. Like they have the same gear, same look. They have different starting areas, but those areas are identical. The same village, just a bit rotated. So you have no real benefits from being in a certain faction besides not being able to play with your friends. And now let's talk why factions are flawed. <laughs> you can get kicked or banned from killing your faction too much. There's no real way to tell if the person you're seeing is your faction or not, because they look the same. The only way you can tell is by looking on the map. So team killing and faction killing is extremely easy and it's gonna happen by default by throwing a faulty grenade. You might even be forced to buy a new account because you got banned from team killing a lot just because you have no real way to tell who is who besides constantly checking that map. Now the next reason why you should not buy this game, especially if you are a Tarkov player. This is not for you. The game has a lack of risk reward. It really feels like Call of Duty because you constantly respawn in the game. It kind of takes you three minutes to go back from the base to your dead body. It's not extremely immersive and full of suspense like Tarkov is. You are not shitting your pants constantly like in Tarkov. It's just Call of Duty where you keep going back and trying to find your body and loot and kill people around. So you are a person that loves the genre of shooter looter and you think you might enjoy this game. But this game is lacking loot. Is lacking the looting part. Yes, it does have loot, but not really. On the map, you don't really have a lot of diverse loot. You mostly have meds and consumables. And they are very repetitive and very boring. So you don't have that part where you go and loot constantly and you're like full of loot and you extract. Mostly what you loot is gear from other players and from AI. So if you're like a loot whore like me that loves to go and just loot everything, it's not the case for this game. Now the map design. There are two components of the map design. How the map actually looks and the map overlay. This whole plot of this game is having three factions and the factions fight each other. And at the beginning of the game, the map has a lot of vegetation. And then you through the vegetation towards the gray zone area where a lot of fighting happens. But before the time you get to the main area, it's super boring. You barely find people and it's just mostly vegetation. So the whole introduction to the game is just boringness. And you really need to do your best to find PvP. So if you're a PvP lover and you love that suspense that shooter looters give you, you don't really get that here. Because it's really hard to find PvP and 
the map really sucks because you don't really have things to loot and see there besides a shit ton of vegetation. And that vegetation, by the way, is full of bushes and it's full of stuff. So that means people are gonna camp a lot. This game is very campy. So if you enjoy being a camper, maybe you're gonna like this. But if you hate camping and camping gameplay, this game ain't for you because this game is just camping. The game gives you bushes everywhere. <laughs> so like I already said, the only way to tell who is who and who is your faction or not is by constantly checking your map overlay. The whole premise of the game is honestly click M to see is this my teammate or not? M M M M M. If you watch streamers play this game or YouTubers, that's what they do non-stop. Click M to see what the F is happening. <laughs> it's extremely chaotic and extremely frustrating. Because in most games, games that we actually like, you go in and you fight everything. Besides your team, no? But not here. You cannot fight people in your faction. So it's just pure chaos non-stop. And it's also pure chaos non-stop because you can respawn and go back and try to find your body. So the other team already knows where you are because you just killed them three minutes ago. So they're constantly going back to find their bodies. Also, when you go back in the game, you go and you take a heli and you respawn on the map, okay? You land on the map. But those landing areas are always the same. So people go there and camp the landing spots because they are the same. I mean, you just have free gear, like you're stupid not to camp them. Another thing about this game that sucks is they give you free cheats, bro. Free cheats. You don't need cheaters. They're like, oh, cheaters. You don't need cheaters. You have free cheats in the game. The, the devs give you free cheats. Let me explain how. You need a friend to be in a different faction. You guys go on the same map, same server. You guys talk in Discord and you see a screen. You see where your faction is. He sees where his faction is. Now you have free cheats. Now you can tell who's who and where's everyone. You have exact position of the enemies without even needing to like do callouts. Free cheats. Especially this is the case if your friend didn't pick the faction you have because uh, he just didn't know. Now you guys have free cheats to play together. Have fun. Oh, it's legal to chill like this because you're not even cheating. It's called uh, game design 2024. Another thing about the game, it's boring to watch. It's boring. So this is my prediction. The game is going to get a lot of attention on Twitch because a lot of people are expecting it, but they don't know it sucks. <laughs> they're going to play it, but the game is boring to watch and they're going to stop playing it quite fast. In like two weeks, everyone's going to stop playing it. So my prediction is that streamers are going to stop playing the game pretty fast and the game is going to go down really fast. And you're like, why are you telling me this? Because if streamers don't play the game, your friends are not going to play the game. And then you just bought a game that no one is playing and you wasted your money. Honestly, at the end, maybe I seemed a bit chaotic because this game is chaotic and I don't even know how to tell you how bad it sucks. It's so many reasons and I'm overwhelmed by so many reasons it sucks. <laughs> I'm not trying to hate on the game, but the game is kind of shit. And also I'm going to go at the last reason why this game sucks. They banned me on their Discord. So whoever they put in charge of dealing with streamers and content creators has no idea how to talk with a real human. If they hired an AI, it would have been way better. They lie to your face. They lie to my face. They had their own rules how they give uh, keys to streamers that they didn't follow. And they banned me on their Discord for calling out on their lies in PMs and asking for a key. I've been following this game since it first got revealed and at the moment they said streamers you can send your email and do these things here if you want a key for when it's revealed. I did that and then they announced on their Twitter hey if you want to play this game then make sure you ask for a key. I did that. Then two days before the game had their test and showcase again I asked for a key and they told me that all out of keys well sir I'm not stupid I also have friends it's hard to believe I don't let many but I sometimes do have friends so what they were telling me lies that they don't have keys other people they were getting keys constantly because I could see it and I will ask them when they got a key and they're like right now and they were telling me in PMs they are all out of keys so if you expect, oh, Tarkov Nikita, it's a liar and blah, blah, blah. Well, this is, ain't any better than if you know anything about me. I don't give up easy. I went and asked to a mod. Hey, can I get a key? And then the mod tell the community manager and then they ban me on their discord for asking a mod to give me a key and uh, saying to him that's a liar. <laughs> Yay. 
I hope I explain why this game sucks. Honestly, it's a waste of money because you're not going to play it more than a few days, honestly. If you do it for two weeks, good for you. And if you are looking for a game because Tarkov screwed you over, this is a way worse money grab than Tarkov will ever be. The game is going to die very fast and you just wasted your money. And if your friends picked a different faction, you are screwed even more. And if you kill too many people in the game from your faction, you are screwed again. So yeah, just don't waste your money. Just watch some streamer play the game, get bored and then watch more videos I do. This game is so boring. I have no energy left in me. It's boring and so flawed. So don't waste your money on it. Waste it on me. <laughs> Check my Twitch. Bye.